Stan and Dr. Stan, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your story as well. I know over 40 years um, in this health and wellness industry. So if you could share with us a little bit about your background and, and why, why are you a part of LifeWay? What made you decide that this was something that I want to, to represent? Well, thank you, Dr. Stacy, Dr. Don, too. Thanks for that great presentation on the science. Um, you know, Dr. Don and I have been, have been working together now for over 10 years, and we had very similar backgrounds in that we both were very passionate about helping people to be healthy, uh, to overcome sickness and disease, because, you know, in a former life, I used to be a pastor, and when I was pastoring churches, Dr. Stacy. You're dealing with sickness and disease all the time. I was experiencing some not life-threatening diseases, but you know, the common things that people suffer from, allergies, cold, flus, I get bronchitis, tonsillitis. I was 50 plus pounds overweight, had hemorrhoids. And I, you know, I just thought I inherited most of this from my family, I mean, from my family, you know, my dad this, my mom that, my grandma had that. But what I found out was I inherited a lifestyle. And so when we were looking into all of this, I was really searching, Dr. Stacey. I was like, I was reading the Bible, I was reading scriptures, and it said, you know, that God wanted us to prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospers. That God wanted us to live an abundant life, free from sickness and disease. He told the Old Testament, folks, you know, if you do this and that, you will live a long and healthy life. You know, so I was reading the scripture and thinking something's wrong with this picture of everybody sick and tired and run down, dying of cancer, sickness and disease and things like that. And I was suffering from all this stuff. So long story short, we started making some lifestyle changes and implementing uh, supplementation and different things into our lifestyle to support a healthy body. And of course, while we were in the churches, you know, we started to connect all the dots, the spiritual, the physical, the mental, and the emotional, all the dots, you know, needed to be connected for us to be, as even Dr. Don alluded to, to be put in a state of homeostasis in balance. And when we put ourselves in balance, when we work with God in nature, it's amazing how, you know, we live longer, we feel better, we look good and feel good inside and out. You know, and you know, for me at almost age 65 now, I'm really excited over this technology because, you know, we know as you know, Dr. Don mentioned by the time we're 30, 35 years old, we're almost at 50% or less depending on different variables, you know, of our stem cell production. And then by the time, you know, you're our age, you know, dang, it's like, you know, we're at almost zero at that point. So now, you know, the lights and the bells have got to start going off in our mind because, hey, you know, you, you've got to pay attention uh, to what you are doing, which was so important to me, studying longevity studies. Dr. Stacy, I know you studied a lot of these, uh, you know, about the importance of preserving our telomeres, which is basically done through keeping those stem cells activating and rejuvenating and working in our body, which is really the basis of all sickness and disease is aging. And when our stem cells are not reproducing, we're, we're unraveling, the telomeres unravel, our life begins to unravel. Uh, and that's why a lot of times when people start hitting their 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond, everything starts to accelerate. It's like aging hits the gas pedal and starts going forward faster than what we would like for it to. So when we were first, you know, we had a couple of people talk to us about the patches, you know, we weren't quite ready. And, you know, especially when you're talking to practitioners and doctors, you know, we're a little bit, you know, hard to get to sometimes, you know, but stay persistent, be nice. And uh, you'd be surprised, you know, the right circumstance comes back around to where we will listen a lot of times. And so Jody, a good friend of ours, Alicia had really got, she had gone through cancer, got one of the best treatments she had had in years. And that kind of perked her ears up a little bit because as a practitioner, I've helped people, you know, deal with cancer, get through cancer and, you know, see people healed naturally of sickness and disease. But she said the only difference 
that she was doing was putting that crazy patch on her body. So Jody said, well, do you think it would help me with my carpal tunnel? Do you think it might? I've got some arthritis and carpal tunnel. She says, well, sure. So she sent us a few patches. Jody tried it and she thought, well, I think it's working. So I said, well, let's just give it a try. I told Jody, let's just order. We ordered us a silver pack and let's just dive into this thing and let's give these patches, you know, a run for their money, you know, because that's why well, not give it a try. We didn't have anything to lose. And, you know, at almost age 65, I was doing pretty good. I was doing the lifestyle. Um, but long story short, you know, the first time we moved to the beach, we just kind of was on a six year vacation. And, the, you, you know, we weren't created for a six week, six year vacation. I mean, we need, to do more than just, you know, go out to eat and do this and do that. And so long story short, got my lifestyle back in check, got all my numbers back under control, but my blood pressure, my blood pressure had ticked up high. It was in the, what we call the yellow zone, hypertension. Wasn't in the red unless I was in the doctor's office, it would go up. <laughs> when you go to the doctor's office, you used to get that white coat syndrome, you know, so to speak. But, you know, after patching about three weeks, Dr. Stacy, I noticed I was feeling that energy in the afternoon because, you know, I'm always, you know, I work out in the morning, and, you know, I'm, I'm very pretty much do intermittent fasting. I really don't eat anything solid till lunchtime every day. And so when I would eat lunch, a lot of times that afternoon slump, well, I wasn't feeling the afternoon, uh, afternoon slumps anymore. You know, I didn't feel tired didn't feel sleepy, feel like I didn't need to take that little siesta that I needed to. And that was really great. And then Jody and I both were noticing we were sleeping better through the night, um, which is really great too, because a good night's rest is part of, you know, being healthy. And so we both started sleeping better. And Jody used to wear these uh, mitts is what I used to call them on her hands at night, you know, to help her with the carpal tunnel. Well, she's not wearing those anymore. Yay, it makes for a good night's sleep to reach over feel your wife and not feel that big mitt, you know, hitting you in the head in the middle of the night. And the other benefit was I stopped snoring, Dr. Stacy. I mean, hallelujah, our bedtime just got on steroids. You know what I'm talking about, you know? And so, and of course it does help in the bedroom, you know, guys, this will increase libido, libido in both men and women in case you're interested and in continuing to have a good sexual life. I don't know. Why not? I'm 65. I still want to have a good sexual life. Everybody should. It's one of the most natural, functional things that human beings can experience and do. And while we're talking about it, people that, you know, have loving relationships and good sexual relationships, Dr. Stacy has been proven they live longer. They live healthier. They're happier, you know, because that's, that's important, you know, in, in our lives, sexuality, Sex is what I call the reproductive energy of the universe. And so that's what these stem cells are doing, reproducing well on the third week, took my blood pressure and it, it went down 30 points. And so Jody was rejoicing, I was rejoicing. We're like, well, I'm sold now. The patches do indeed work. I mean, obviously you do your homework. You do want to check the science. We understand it's all there. The clinical studies have been are there to prove that the patches are working. It's not a matter of if, it is. And I tell people, you know, when, you know, we kind of uh, phased out of the pastoral ministry to be full time in the wellness industry because we were helping more people because our passion again was we don't want people to die from sickness and disease. We don't want people to live with low energy. We don't want people to have to fear the cancer, the heart disease, the strokes, the heart attacks, the dementia, the Alzheimer's, type two diabetes, which are pretty much lifestyle diseases that are co are compounded worse by our lifestyle decisions. And so what we have with the stem cell technology, Dr. Stacy, is we finally have the closest thing to what I call the magic bullet. Um, and I say that because I don't believe in magic bullets or potions and lotions or just doing one thing. Everything's just going to, you know, get well, you know, just because you, you know, do this or that. Obviously, there's a lot of things that go into it. But in the last year, with the results that we have gotten with myself, with our clients, with our friends, with our family, our loved ones, and seeing the results that people are getting from just patching 
doing nothing else, encouraging them to drink more water. It's amazing, Dr. Stacy, because all of a sudden, it's just like when we are teenagers, you know, we're out here, you know, a lot of times we're abusing ourselves athletically through sports. Maybe it's partying or whatever it is a person is doing. You fall down, you break something, and you heal fast. You recover fast. And by the time, you know, in your 30s and 40s and 50s, like Dr. Dines says, our recovery time just isn't as good as it used to be. So it's because the stem cells are not reproducing. So out of all the years that I had 40, you know, years in this industry now, 30 plus years as an alternative healthcare practitioner, helping people to overcome sickness and disease. We have found a technology that in my opinion is one of the most amazing technologies that have ever been, I've been ever exposed to in my 40 plus years in this industry. Uh, it is changing people's lives because we're changing people's lives from the cellular level getting those stem cells reactivating in the body, just like they did when you were a teenager or early 20s or as a, as a young child. When those things start kicking in, oh my gosh, you know, that's when you're going to reverse age, you're going to anti-age, you're going to start, the body's going to start repairing itself. The batches don't heal anything. When we don't prescribe, diagnose, or treat anything, all we do, as Dr. Don says, we give the body the best opportunity environmentally without outside interference from drugs and nothing things like that if you need drugs you need emergency care go get it we are thankful for medical doctors and dentists and everybody that can repair and help us along the way that is so important you know when we cherish those people but why not do prevention rather than treatment why not put yourself in a position to activate those stem cells so that your body can rejuvenate activate look good, feel good inside and out, add years to your life, but life to your years. That's what we're trying to do here to help you to live long, prosper, be in good health, and not suffer from all the aging diseases of the world. Wow. That that was very comprehensive, but yet powerful and powerful to the point too. Wow, thank you, Dr. Stan. That really helps understand where you're coming from and also why you chose to be a part of this. And I, I love that you two, obviously we've all known each other for over 10 years. It's fantastic to come together on this platform now with something that is so impactful um, in so many ways for so many different things and for literally everybody on the planet. So thank you for that explanation and, and sharing your stories too. So I do have a couple questions. 